Algiers, for over three centuries, was the stronghold of those terrors of the sea, the Algerian pirates. But now under the French it is known as the Paris of North Africa. The old Arab city and the French one which surrounds it rise directly from the shores of the harbor. Over a pontoon bridge we walk ashore and climb the ramp above the harbor warehouses. Halfway up we come upon a group of Bedouins from the desert, huddled together waiting for a bus to carry them to their homes in southern Algeria. Fine buildings face the harbor along the Boulevard Carnot and the Boulevard de la République. The Rue du Constantine is but one of the imposing streets in the European quarter. Along some of the streets, arcaded sidewalks have been built under the buildings, affording shelter to pedestrians from rain or from the hot African sun. The mosque Jama el Jadid in the Place du Gouvernement, like all other mosques in Algeria, may be visited by unbelievers. Buses roll in from everywhere, and they are loaded to capacity for the Arabs have succumbed to our craze for speed. A seat on top is preferable to one inside. A shek from the desert takes in the sight. Muslim women still wear the veil in Algiers and run for cover when the evil eye, our camera, appears. Little is necessary for the barber's shop. A chair, a razor and a victim are all that he needs. From the sound of it, being shaved must be a painful operation. The barber is also a dentist, as his extraction signifies. From the Kasbah, the old fortress, and one-time residence of the Turish, Turkish rulers, we descend through the Kasbah quarter. The coffee house is the Arab's club. He spends many hours each day playing cards, or dominoes, or just walking through. Many of these streets are just long series of steps. All of them are narrow and winding. If a new house is built in this quarter, all the material must be carried in and out on the backs of donkeys. For the streets are too narrow for any but four-footed trucking. Over some of the streets, the upper stories of the houses meet. And many others have overhanging second floors. At the bottom of the hill, we leave these crowded narrow streets to return to our ship and continue eastward on our way.